Hello everyone. This is a lecture on DC analysis and AC analysis of differential amplifier. Differential amplifier is a very important circuit as this is the first two stages of operation amplifier. So we need to understand uh, its working. So basically in DC uh, in differential amplifier we have two transistor circuits Q1 and Q2 and uh, we have a basically a symmetrical circuit on both the sides. If we take this as a as axis then we will find it as a symmetrical circuit and we have to apply two voltages and we have to get output uh, from these two character terminals of Q1 and Q2. So in this regard we can uh, have four different types of division required and uh, to understand that uh, we need to understand what is a balanced output. Balanced output means that if you are taking output uh, between these two terminals not between this and ground and not between this and ground. So that is known as balanced output and if you are taking uh, output uh, between this and ground then and uh, this is uh, not used then this will be known as unbalanced output. So uh, we can uh, differentiate uh, differential amplifier in four different categories like um, uh, dual input, balanced output, single input, balanced output, dual input, unbalanced output like this. So, uh, 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 in DC analysis, uh, we have to find uh, ICC and VCQ. That means we have to find the operating points of the circuit. So, if this is a difference amplifier in which we have applied V1 and V2 voltages and we have applied VCC, then to get our DC analysis, we have to sort the uh, input supplies that is small signal uh, sources. So, um, to get the DC analysis of the circuit, uh, as we, we can see here that uh, these two circuits are basically symmetrical circuits. So, we can find the DC analysis for one circuit and uh, the uh, DC analysis for second circuit can be uh, easily um, drawn from that. So, this is the half circuit of that differential amplifier uh, in which ICK and VCQ uh, can be used for the second transistor Q2 also. So uh, we are uh, we have to apply KVL uh, at the base of uh, uh, emitter loop of the transistor Q1. So we can find here that uh, uh, if we are, we are applying a KVL here, then uh, this is IB. So this will become RS times IB plus VVE plus twice IERE equals to minus VE. But we can uh, say that IB is IE upon beta at DC as uh, IC and IE can be uh, equated. So we can find IE as from this equation VE minus VBE upon twice RE plus RS upon beta DC. Now as we know that uh, VBE is uh, almost 0.6 volt for silicon and 0.2 volt for germanium. So uh, generally RS is very small because RS is the source resistance. So RS upon beta DC will become very small as compared to twice RE. So, uh, we, we can approximate this equation as I equals to IC equals to VE uh, minus VB upon twice R. So, this is uh, the first operating point that is ICC of the uh, this uh, differential amplifier. Now, we have to find the second operating point that is VCQ. So, for that uh, uh, we can uh, get the uh, voltage VC here. What is the VC voltage here? That it is the VCC minus ICRC drop, uh, and also we can find that that VC voltage. VC means the voltage drop between collector and emitter is and that the VC, that is the collector voltage minus VE, that is the uh, emitter voltage. So we can uh, put uh, the value of VC from this equation. So uh, then we can get VCC equals to uh, VC equals to VCC minus ICRC plus VE. Now, what is V? V can be approximated as VBE because uh, the RS station is very small, so we can neglect this voltage drop. So, what we can get is that uh, this voltage V is approximated as VBE, but in the negative uh, polarity because uh, this is positive sign and this is negative sign. So, if you are getting the voltage V, so we can get uh, V equals to minus VE. So, that way we can get uh, minus VE equals to plus VV. Uh, therefore, VCE can be written as VCC plus VBE minus ICRC. So, this is the second operating point of uh, this differential amplifier and this DC analysis is applicable for all types of differential amplifier. 
now uh, we have to uh, take an example to understand it uh, more clearly so this is the uh, the following specification are given for the dual input balance output differential amplifier as shown in the figure so uh, these parameters are given that is rc is given rb is given r in or r uh, r into both are given then vcc and ve are given and beta dc and vb is provided so we have to de determine the operating points that is icq and vc of the two transistors so just the, uh, just put the values provided uh, in the uh, question and we can get icq and uh, vcq uh, from this uh, equation now ac analysis now, uh, to get the ac analysis of the transistor the first thing we have to do is that we have to uh, ground the dc supplies and uh, for uh, uh, calculating the uh, ac uh, analysis uh, we have to take the uh, r parameter uh, equivalent circuit of the transistor in r parameter equivalent circuit of the transistor uh, we have to replace the transistor with this circuit that means uh, 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 for, uh, wherever there is a transistor uh, circuit we have to replace that uh, transistor circuit with this circuit we have to use a current source that is beta ac ib or we can say this is ic current and this is the equivalent resistors uh, at emitter so it is r dc e so we have uh, uh, got the circuit of uh, the uh, R parameter equivalent circuit of differential amplifier where vcc is grounded and uh, transistors are replaced with their r uh, uh, parameter equivalent circuit now uh, we have to apply kvl in these two loops uh, first and second loop uh, in this loop we can get that uh, what is v1 is v1 is this drop plus this drop plus this drop so v1 is basically r s1 times ib1 plus uh, i e1 uh, uh, current is flowing here so i e1 into r e dash plus uh, this drop this drop is uh, i1 plus i2 these two kinds are flowing this resistance so i1 plus i2 times r e similarly we can get uh, the kvl equation in this loop also so we can get v2 equals to rs2 ib2 plus i2 r uh, dc plus i1 plus i2 r in now uh, as we know that iv1 is uh, ic1 upon beta and ic1 is uh, can be equated as i1 so this is uh, can be uh, th this can be written as iv1 equals to i1 upon beta similarly iv2 can be written as ie2 upon beta and uh, now we have to put these values in this these two equations so we can get uh, v1 equals to rs1 uh, i1 upon beta plus i1 r dc plus i1 plus i2 r e similarly uh, we have to replace ib2 with this value so we can get this equation now as rs1 and rs2 are the source resistances and these values are very small so uh, uh, rs1 upon beta and rs2 upon beta these values can be uh, very small as compared to r e dash uh, uh, times i2 and uh, r e times i1 plus i2 so we can uh, remove these uh, uh, these values as these are very small so uh, after removed, removing these values we can get uh, v1 equals to uh, i1 times re dash plus re and uh, i2 times re like uh, we can get uh, these uh, equations from uh, this equation also as we can say that re dash is very small that is 26 millivolt uh, per uh, i milliampere so milli milli cancel then if we have uh, i as uh, 20 milli amperes also then we can get uh, re dash equals to almost 1 so solving the, these two equations uh, we can get i1 and i2 uh, we have to solve these two equations to get i1 and i2 so we can get i1 equals to this and i1 i2 uh, equals to uh, this value uh, now uh, we have to get the output voltage v0 so what is v0 voltage v0 voltage is this drop minus this drop so vc2 minus vc1 so what is vc2 vc2 is uh, minus rc time ic2 we, uh, we can uh, see here what is vc2 vc2 is minus rc times I, uh, ic2 and what is uh, vc1 is uh, minus rc time ic1 so this is uh, and uh, uh, after solving this we can get rc times ic1 minus ic2 and ic1 and ic2 are uh, basically equivalent to i1 and i2 so we can have v0 equals to uh, rc times i1 minus i2 uh, now uh, we already have i1 and i2 values uh, uh, calculated here 
so we have we just have to put these values into this equation so substituting i1 and i2 in the expression we can get v0 equals to this and uh, after uh, just solving uh, solving this as uh, the denominator is same so we just have to calculate the numerator part so we can get uh, re dash plus twice re v1 minus v2 as uh, 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 re dash plus two R, uh, twice re is common in numerator and denominator both so we can cancel this so we will get v0 equals to rc times re dash v1 minus v2 now v1 minus v2 is just the differential input voltage so uh, uh, we can get uh, the differential gain as v0 upon vd that is uh, rc upon re dash so i hope that uh, these two uh, uh, dc analysis and ac analysis uh, of the differential amplifier uh, is clear to all of you thank you